On this week's show, we check out what's new for 2018. We'll start out with a look at Heartland's new Terry Classic Retro Model Trailer. Then, we join Bob Zagani and Gary Conley as they fill us in on the new Lance 1475 and 1575 travel trailers. We'll also take a look at some new Jayco Alante Class A motorhomes. Then later, we'll join Jeff Johnston and his wife Pam as they take a weekend camping trip in a new Winnebago Travato Class B motorhome. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. There are a couple of major industry events each year that offer an opportunity to see what all the manufacturers are bringing out for the new year. One such event is the big industry open house held in Elkhart, Indiana. Here, RV manufacturers go all out in presenting dealers with a look at what they'll be selling for the upcoming year. 2018 started off just as last year with a slew of new retro model trailers hitting the market. One that caught our eye is the new Terry Classic from Heartland RV. With its shiny aluminum finish, angled wraparound windshield and classic vintage look, the new Terry Classic will definitely attract attention whether heading down the highway or parked off the road at your favorite boondocking location. Speaking of boondocking, the Terry Classic is completely self-contained with fresh and wastewater holding tanks, two-way power appliances, and a 12-volt power supply. Inside, gourmet meals are a breeze to repair in a well-appointed kitchen. LED lighting and digital technology combined with a stunning retro look provide you with a truly unique RV experience you are looking for. Coming up after the break, we'll catch up with Bob Zagami as he learns all about the new 2018 Lance Model trailers. We'll be right back. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains, or the rugged terrain, or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Good morning, I'm here with Gary Connolly, National Sales Manager at Lance Campers. Gary, we're in Elkhart, Indiana at the Dealer Open House and what are you expecting for activity and what are you going to do this week? We're looking for a fantastic turnout. Uh, we've you know, marketed to a lot of dealers in a lot of open areas and we're really anxious to show our brand new um, light, light, line, our light line of trailers that we're bringing out right now. Well, you know, people have known Lance as the number one truck camper in the world for years and then you brought out your travel trailer line and now you're bringing out the ultralight. Would you call it an ultralight or is it a lightweight? No, um, we, we actually truly have an ultralight. I think that a lot of people use terminology pretty right. light and I think that when you really look at what is an ultralight, it's something that is, you know, a vehicle that can tow 3,500 pounds or less. Right. And so that's what this line basically is representing. So the 1475 and the 1575 are the two new units that you're bringing out here at the show? Correct. Uh, the 1575 we've had, but we've just redesigned it. Uh, we've changed the graphics on it, um, really looked at the weight, took some more weight out of it uh, to basically, as well as we've enhanced the vehicle. And the 1475 we just brought out has a brand new slide that we've added to it. 
you know, it's amazingly, it gives you a real large impression inside. I had a chance to walk into it before, and if you place somebody inside it without telling them that it was a 14, 15 foot trailer, they'd never guess it. Yeah, and you know, a lot of that comes from our 52 years of expertise building truck campers. Um, anytime you can take a small space and make it seem bigger, uh, we're experts at that, and we have been for many, many years. Uh, we've always dealt with weight issues with truck campers on trucks, and so coming into the trailer market, um, we kind of know what we need to do to hit marks uh, without sacrificing quality or construction values. It's, that's an interesting concept because it is so difficult to get that weight truck towable ratio together for the consumer. Right. It's important that they understand that there is a distinction when somebody says ultralight because some of these are not too light. Yeah, you know, and I think that's something that the industry should do a better job of is really to police, you know, what exactly is, is a ultralight, what is a lightweight trailer. Um, there's many vehicles out there for that profess it and they can just say it and get away with it and then it's up to the consumer to figure it out. And, um, you know, we've, we've always been a very um, upstanding company, reputable, and um, that's why I think our following of our customers is so good. Well, that's true. People, people uh, really talk a lot about the education that Lance provides them in understanding the trailer. So when we look out there at the consumer base, what are you targeting as the audience for the 1475? Well, you know, it's, um, I mean, in terms of the age demographic, um, you know, there's a lot of millennials that, that basically are coming into the market. Uh, we just got done with the Hershey show, had a fantastic show. That's where we debuted the 1475 retail, and this is the first wholesale uh, market that we've basically uh, shown it at. So the, the target is, you know, the, the consumer that has the downsize um, SUV, you know, they might have had a bigger SUV, the families basically shrunk a little bit, but they still are in the lifestyle. They want to go camping and um, they want to go to, you know, national parks, BLM lands and things like that. So this product fits right into that because getting big campsites is really difficult to do. So if you're not planning your life six months in advance and you just want to go out and hit the road and go camping next weekend, this product is really easy to use because it's under 20 feet. Well, you hit the magic word when you said next weekend because so many of our RVers do just that. They come home on Friday night and say, let's let's go camping. Or on Wednesday night, they say, we're going to go away this weekend and let's just go. And you don't have a chance to make long-term reservations and get the right site at the right place. But this, you can go anywhere with it. Yes, I think spontaneity is a, is a big plus, you know, and I, and I think that that's the beauty of, of owning an RV. And we like to cater to that. That's why we have a four season package in our unit. Because I think when you take your house on the road, it's that what if factor. What if it snows? What if it's 120 degrees? How do you basically deal with that? And our product is built um, basically to withstand all of those conditions that are potentially there. Well, you know, and I think too, from a market standpoint, when we look at the millennials, they're not like those of us who are a little bit older. They, they like simplicity. They like mobility. They, like, they don't like fancy things. They just want to be able to get out there and enjoy the RV lifestyle. They want to go kayaking and hunting and you know, golfing and doing, doing things outside the RV. They want the RV for the house. But it's not like the older generations that wanted everything with color TV, you know, three color TVs and four stereos. It's a different market, but it's really appealing. They, they love the RV market. Sure. You know? Sure, and, and, you know, and I think the thing is with the millennials as well as, you know, the baby boomers as well, you know, there's a lot of similarities in what they want to do, and, you know, there, there's two, distinct, two distinctions. I think one thing that, that we refer to is that a lot of people, I call them asphalt campers, you know, they pull into a site, you know, they open the window and they see another coach, um, whereas we try to provide product where you can get out there and actually see nature. And I think that's really important to consider, and that's why size makes a difference. If you want to go down a, that dirt road, um, our product will allow you to do that, and it'll get you out to places that most people can't see, because you know, sometimes you can just camp in your driveway and just put a picture outside, change the scent <laughs> inside, and there you go. Yeah. And uh, yeah. You know, our product is, is more adventurous, and I think that fits in the demographic of the, of the millennial. Well, and you mentioned getting outside and outdoors, and one of the things that you've got on here is a solar panel. Why don't you explain that in terms of what the extra capability that that provides to a camper, having that power on board? Well, you know, in, back when Arco Solar came out in 1985, we started putting solar onto our truck campers. So um, the solar, what that does basically, it provides endless 12-volt power. Um, into the batteries. Um, a lot of times in presentations I'll tell people you're going to run out of food and water before you run out of battery power so go enjoy life. 
And um, you know, when you can simplify things in terms of the experience, where when you build the product so it can basically be a push button type of thing, you know, nobody wants to go out camping and wrench on things. They want to go out and have a good time. And the, the better time that we can provide, the better off we're all going to be. That's fantastic. All right, I'm with Gary Connolly, the National Sales Manager for Lance Campers. Gary, thanks for taking time with us this morning. It's always a pleasure to see you. Best of luck at the show, and you've got a fantastic lineup of product. Thank you so much. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Hi, be sure to join us on our Rolling On TV Facebook page, Wednesday nights, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 Eastern, for Rolling On Live. We talk about the show, answer your technical questions, and enjoy some quality time with you, our viewers. We hope to see you there. One of the most popular gas-powered Class A's on the market is the Jayco Alante. And for 2018, the Alante is sporting some new changes. The exterior has a white high gloss finish, a seamless one piece front cap, and American made Goodyear radial tires. New Alante models come equipped with a variety of seating areas throughout the cabin, including optional theater seats. The interior is designed with linoleum flooring and high-density LED lighting throughout the cabin. The kitchen includes a three-burner range and oven, and storing enough cold food is no problem with an 8 cubic foot Norco refrigerator. There is also a large stainless steel sink and plenty of cabinet space. The bedroom has a nice queen-size bed for a comfortable night's sleep. The built-in wardrobe comes with two large mirrors and optional drawer space. The bathroom comes equipped with a glass door shower with skylight and light and a good-sized cabinet with stainless sink. Delante offers numerous options that allow you to personalize your motorhome to fit your needs and lifestyle, including an outside kitchen and entertainment center. Next, we'll join Jeff and Pam as they experience firsthand how maneuverable and comfortable the Travato Class B actually is. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. When you have a Truma AquaGo instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. Winnebago's brand new Travato Touring Coach is the first Class B motorhome built on Dodge's brand new Ram 3500 Promaster chassis. Coincidentally, it's also our first opportunity to spend some time behind the wheel on one of these guys. It's a pretty slick combination. We'll take a closer look. 
The Travato looks great from any angle. Its sharp exterior details and clean lines present an image that should please almost any RVer with a contemporary looking Class B motorhome in mind. Winnebago's decision to use the Dodge as a base for this coach seems well done as the Promaster van is well set up for this type of service. The Promaster van is well known as the Fiat Ducato overseas and has a long track record of proven durability and performance. American buyers may take some time getting accustomed to the new van, but once they settle in, they'll enjoy the ride. We were pleased by how well the small but energetic 3.6 liter V6 motivated the coach, and its six-speed automatic with front-wheel drive powertrain provided a wide range of gears for making efficient use of the engine output. For having a small engine, this new Promaster chassis has a lot of get up and go. Acceleration onto a freeway, for example, happens pretty quickly. Surprising for a vehicle of this size with a little V6. Things are a bit cluttered under hood, as expected, but the primary maintenance access points are well positioned for ease of use. It's a commercial van base, so the cab is a bit spartan, but it's comfortable, well laid out, and the dash design makes sense. It's a little bit of getting used to to learn about the smart stocks. This one up here that has the headlights, blinkers, and so on. The one down below it, this one on the left side, has the cruise control features. On the right, of course, you have uh, windshield wipers and so forth. And then, and then there's the radio canceling and calling uh, and telephone signals on the, uh, the, the steering wheel. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you learn where everything is, it's a pretty comfortable ride. USB and 12-volt power outlets, map pockets in the doors, storage trays here and there, and drink holders everywhere are among the cab convenience features. A backup monitor and GPS navigation are available via the 5-inch command center screen. Our road test trip with the Travato was about a six-hour run one way, and the seats are wonderful. There are all kinds of adjustments. Of course, you can adjust the height, the tilt front to back, tilt on the back. Lumbar support seems pretty good. The base of the seat seems firm, but it provides a lot of support. All things considered, it's just a very civilized ride for being a commercial van-based vehicle. And these are the stock seats that come in it, come with it from Dodge. These are not Winnebago replacement seats. They don't really need to replace them. They feel darn good, just like they are. Freeway travel is a dream in the Travato, and back roads are just as much fun. Get off the freeway and start carving up the little back road state highways. That's where this rig really shines. Great steering, great stability, good handling, good braking. Nice way to put on a few miles. Our fuel economy averaged a bit over 17 miles per gallon while driving the Travato. That's pretty darn good for a coach of this size that also has excellent performance. We reached our destination and were reminded once again that one of the real pluses for a Class B is its maneuverability. Tight quarters and sharp campground road corners are no problem for the Travato. With the bed folded up, the sleeping area becomes a toy hauler type garage that can handle bicycles or other bulky items. Fold the bed down, and it's a cozy spot for two. LED lights save power and produce less unwanted heat. The folded down bed also works as a cargo storage spot while traveling. Packing everything you need in a Class B takes some practice and occasional cargo shuffling around. We found enough places for our gear and even had some extra space available. A sliding, form-fitting screen door allows you to close off the entire side entry opening against the intrusion of bugs. Privacy screens are included for the rear door, sliding side door, and cab area windows. Out back, the screens snap into place, and up front, it's Velcro tabs that supply the holding power. 
We'll continue our user report about the new Winnebago Travato Class B motorhome. Winnebago groups some vehicle system monitors and controls in one convenient location. A powered electric step improves access to the interior. We have no problem with manually operated devices, but we have to admit, the powered awning kind of grows on them. The coach utility access points are conveniently grouped on the driver's side. The dump valves and exhaust hang a bit low, but they still clear the average parking spot wheel stop. A wet bath is pretty common in a Class B, and the Travato is no exception. The space is tight, of course, but it's enough to do the job. A cook has to choose wisely when packing the kitchen storage in a Class B. Overhead cabinet space is secured by a solid latching door and its laminate finish looks really classy. Small but functional sink and stove units are flush mounted in the kitchen's laminate countertop and storage drawers are close by and seem well made. The microwave and refrigerator are directly opposite along with more storage space for cooking convenience. Turning around the driver and passenger seats provides extra guest accommodation at the dinette. Table access is good, even for a big person, but the tables seem fairly wobbly for mealtime use. Overhead lighting, the radio and TV are easy to reach from the dining table position. The TV is definitely best viewed from the turned around front seats. An average sized person can park at the dinette with ease. The dinette table includes a swing-out table extension for a little extra space. A clever mechanism and support structure enables the table to fold down as a base for the auxiliary bed. Cushions are rearranged and the sliding hassock extension fills the aisle gap to complete the bed that would best fit a younger or smaller person. The small space in a Class B is no problem for us as we spend most of our non-sleeping time outside the rig. We set up the meals inside, then do our cooking and relaxing outdoors when the weather permits. We were very lucky on this springtime trip in Washington and Oregon. We thoroughly enjoyed our Travato camping and travel time. It nicely packages a smart set of Class B features in a well-built, fun, and functional coach. To learn more about the Travato, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Well, that wraps up this week's show. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollingontv.com which is available in English and Spanish. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. For more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org.